It is good to have you back. So one of the men that I'm mentoring in my porn recovery process is really scared. He came to me and he was like, I'm totally, I've been really doing well with my porn recovery and my NoFap. I've been a really good streak. And I'm really scared that if we stop, if I stop talking to you, if I actually go out and try to get stuff done in my life, I'm gonna relapse. I'm scared that I'm gonna fail NoFap. And he was asking me genuinely, what does it take to actually beat porn for good. What does it take? Because you've tried everything. I know you guys, you've tried everything that you could do. And for some reason, this is the one area of your life that you can't really take control over, that you can't really have full mastery over. So this is what I told him. This is the actual process that I use when I'm mentoring guys and I'm teaching them how to actually start with recovery. And this starts with our first point, recovery versus abstinence. Many times people start their NoFap journey because they're trying to gain some benefit or either superhuman strength or attract more women or to have more focus, more confidence, more drive in most cases. But also at the same time, it's not enough to just say no to to porn. It's not enough to just abstain. When we're talking about abstinence, the reason that you can go very long without acting out, slipping up, and then suddenly the next day you find yourself knee deep in porn and you wonder what happened, where did my progress go? It's because you are experiencing abstinence and not true recovery. True recovery is when you actually replace the, the, the habit of watching porn, the artificial thrill and excitement of watching porn with the genuine excitement in your life. And that's the difference. And that's why people can actually be porn for good is because when they experience recovery and not just abstinence, when they actually replace the junk food in their life in their refrigerator with, with good organic homegrown food, then they start to get healthier and then they start to see real true progress. Number two, this leads us, leads us to the stages of recovery. Now your next question is, okay, the recovery process is important. I want to experience recovery and not just abstinence from porn. What are the actual stages of recovery? Guys, this is all I talk about here on this channel. But this, uh, And I'm going to be put, putting videos very, very soon in the next few weeks about the stages, the seven-stage process uh, that I that I teach, I'm gonna put it right here on YouTube, so be sure to subscribe and get notified when I put those. Uh, but basically, there are certain stages that if you start with stage one, if you hit the first big domino, I kind of call it a domino effect. If you hit the big domino, right, if you know these domino masterpieces, if you hit the, the first domino, the idea is that every all the other dominoes are gonna fall into place, all right? So what is that big domino? And that's what stage one is, all right? Stage one, is if you can read that, get serious about your habit. And I know you've you've tried getting serious. You understand that, like I'm gonna get serious. I know how to get serious. And if 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 you're one of these guys, you know that you've tried to get serious. Or maybe you're telling me right now, I am serious. This is why I'm watching this video. But more than not, more chances than not, eight eight or nine times out of ten, you're not as serious as you think you are. And this is why I really go into stage one. And I tell guys, like, do, do, do this exercise for me. If your life was at stake for, for you, if I had a gun to your head and I was saying, if you slipped up again, I'm going to end your life. If I got that grim with you and that got really dark really, really quick. <laughs> if I said that to you, right, uh, in all seriousness, how would, how would you change in that moment? How would your life change? How would your habit change? How would you spend your time differently? How would you spend your time online differently? How would your priorities change? Uh, how would you spend your morning routine? Would you really be uh, you know, up late at night playing video games or on Instagram or watching TikTok or watching those movies and videos that and TV shows that are a little raunchy, right? Probably not. So if you're not, if you're still doing the things that you wouldn't do if your life was at stake, if your life, if I had a gun to your head, then that means you're not as serious. But the problem is, the reason that you're not serious and the reason that people don't get as serious as they want to get is because of this. It's because you don't understand the negative impacts of porn on your life, all right? Ooh, shocker. You don't get the impact, sorry. You don't get the impact of porn on your life. Once you get the impact of porn, then you will change. This is what happens when people are in relationships, when people have dire situations and porn is really facing them in the eyes and saying it's either me or porn. It's either you get better or your life goes down the drain really quick. When you get the thing, the thing is when you get the impact, you will instantly change. I promise you. But you can't get the impact until until you really go deep and and reflect and be serious about your porn habit and actually write it down on paper. That can be your assignment for this video. 
take a piece of paper after you've watched this next video that I'm going to introduce to you in a, in a second. Get a piece of paper, get a journal, and just write down all the negative effects that porn has had on your life. Start with that. This takes time. Sometimes it takes an hour for some people, and sometimes this takes weeks or even months to really truly get. Write down all the ways that porn has negatively impacted your life. If you do this successfully, it will really shock you. It will really just crush you actually because you realize how much time, energy, and focus you've wasted on this in your life. And when you really get there, it will force you to change. It'll force you to get serious and that's stage one. That's the first thing to help you quit porn for good. If this video is helpful, I want you guys to hit the like button because it does help other men find the video and also no one will know that you like the video. <laughs> Actually, I don't even know. Anyways, I think this video right here is gonna be really good for you guys. Go ahead and check that out. It's really good to have you. Take care.